Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and for another biome build. Now this is the final biome that I have left to do which is obviously as you can see Dazzle Beach. Now this biome has kind of been empty for a, quite a while, probably a few months. I did previously have it decorated but I just genuinely didn't like how it looked. It was very structured and very built up and I decided that kind of wasn't the look I wanted to go for down here. I wanted it to look very natural, very open, just a more kind of natural beach and so I decided to change it up and redecorate the whole thing so let's get started so to start off in the biome i kind of figured out where i wanted the larger objects to go like the houses and different things like that i didn't have many character houses i wanted down here i had moana's house stitch's house and then i had a couple of premium shop houses so i had prince eric's ship and also the beach house and then i had ariel's house tucked off in the water as well as maui's house so there wasn't too many houses on land so i kind of had a lot of space to be able to figure out where I wanted them to go, where would work best, and I kind of played around with that for a while because I didn't really have a plan in mind. So I just figured that out, and then after that, I went in and placed in all of the different items I knew I was going to be using. As you can see, there is a lot. There's a lot of items. Once I placed them out, I realised how many there were. But I don't go and use all of these. I just used some of them, but I wanted to put out everything that was a possibility to use. As you can see in the top right, I did have about 900 left on my 6,000 item limit. And so I knew, because this biome wasn't going to be very built up, I knew I probably wouldn't hit that. But I had to be mindful of that anyway. But I just went in and started placing things around. I started off with Moana's kind of area, which is this big grassy area at the back. I wanted to give her a lot of space and just this really beautiful area. So I started off by building around that. <laughs> Now with Moana's boat, I was originally going to include it by her house, but it just would have been way too much of a squeeze, so I actually decided to keep it on the beach. I didn't kind of finalise where I wanted it yet, but I then took some of the flowers that naturally spawn in the biome, started placing these by Moana's house before I went in and did my beach side bar. So as you can see, I'm collecting all the items that I need for that, and then once I've kind of moved them all over, I start rearranging them where I want them to go in the little bar I was going to create. <laughs> Now I did originally have this beachside bar on my beach a long time ago, but I wanted to obviously move it to a different location, kind of rebuild it. I didn't really change much to it con compared to how I had it previously because I did like how it looked, but I just feel like this location was much better for it. I meant It meant I can kind of build a seating area and kind of decorate it how I wanted to decorate it. So I started placing in all the items on the bar top as well as the bar stools. I then obviously placed some of the barrels on the side and just some surfboards and things around and kind of rearranged it all how I wanted it to look. Then next to the bar I created this little seating area with a bench and an ice cream stand and I continued the tropical wood flooring over that so it looked like a little bit of decking. I really love using this tropical wood flooring at the moment especially in places like the beach or in Eternity Isle. I feel like they work really really well so I kind of placed them underneath to look like decking and then started to kind of continue to rearrange where everything was going. Thank you. 
Now when I head back around to Moana's house, I wanted the outside of the grass to be kind of like a border of where her home would end. So I wanted to use a lot of the big kind of palm tree sections that we have in the furniture menu, as well as kind of separate palm trees and rocks to kind of enclose this area in and make it seem very kind of tropical. And it kind of really reminded me actually at the end of Moana's kind of realm where we found her because it is very overgrown and very tropical and that was kind of the vibe I wanted to go for. I wanted her area to feel very enclosed, very secluded and kind of just be fit just for her. Now for the dock area in the middle, I obviously wanted to include my well here because it just fits perfectly in this spot. And I also included Goofy's stool and a lot of different barrels and crates that are obviously craftable around this area because they match perfectly with Prince Eric's ship, which is from the premium shop. I did include that at the end of the docks. I currently haven't built anything inside the ship yet. It is just completely blank at the moment. So I may do that at some point. But I love to include the ship on the beach because it obviously just makes it look like pirates have docked up here and would kind of stop off or Eric kind of travelled here in it and then decided to live here. I kind of just like how it looks. It's a very cute premium house. I'm very much glad I picked that up. But I decided to kind of put them on that dock area to kind of tie it all together. <laughs> Now for Stitch's house, I did already have a kind of bench table set up with a bunch of food on it. So I did keep that from the previous build for his house and kind of utilize that again in here. And then I went around with a bunch of palm trees and kind of secluded his area off before kind of dragging over everything I knew I wouldn't use on the left hand side of the biome. Now, because there were so many flowers already spawned in this biome, I did add a few extras, I think, of the sunflowers because they're kind of harder to come by. They don't spawn as often. But I did use a lot of flowers to kind of dot in those empty gaps and make it kind of very, bring a bit of pop of colour and just really tie it all together. So in this back little right corner, I decided to put down one of the blue pink picnic blankets we get from Scrooge as well as an ice cream stand and a little table, which I do go in later and add a bunch of craftable ice creams and ice lollies to just to be a little cozy spot where people would hang out and enjoy the sunset and would just have a little picnic together. And I added a barbecue onto Stitch's area as well as one of his couches that you get from Scrooge's just to kind of bring all the items into his area and make it seem like somewhere people would love to hang out because I would definitely love to hang out at Stitch's house for a barbecue. On 
the beach fronts I decided to do these kind of natural sunbathing areas so I use some of the towels that you get from Scrooge's as well as the lifeguard towers I have one on this kind of left hand side that's more of just a sunbathing area and then one on the right hand side which kind of is more meant to be like a yoga area I use some of the Moana mats to be a little bit more rustic and to feel like kind of an area where you do yoga in the beach in the morning so I did include those to kind of make it seem natural as though people would actually do that on the beachfront. Mm -hmm. Next to the premium shop beach house I did include a stone jacuzzi which is actually craftable from the DLC and I put some of the tropical wood floor underneath to kind of mimic a decking. I do go in later and add to this a lot as well as the table that is next to it and kind of rearrange it all but I do just kind of piece in all the items that I knew I wanted to use at this point and make sure I haven't missed anything. Now for the open areas of the beaches I didn't want to make them too built, built up so I used a bunch of different palm trees and kind of bigger rock structures to make these kind of little pockets of foliage. Now this was a good way to kind of break up the sand and it all being very vast and open and allowed me to kind of create these little spots of colour and it make it seem a little bit more built up but without losing that kind of open beach look and it just worked really well rather than using furniture items I like how it was more natural using the palm trees from the biome itself. As well as I added in a bunch of beach grass, I mainly focused it on the actual grass points of the biome, but I did add some up between all the sand just to add again a little bit of colour and kind of break up the look and just give it a bit more texture so it wasn't too flat and plain. Now to finish up I did go in and decorate the water I don't include all the footage here of me decorating the sea just because it was it was such a long piece of footage it was it just went on and on and on and on so I do go in and decorate all of that so I show you some of it I did put some rock mm. stones in front of Ariel's house to kind of look like a pathway to start it off and then I went in with some of the normal lily pads the light up lily pads the reeds and the cattails just all throughout the water just to kind of disperse it all and make it look quite natural in the water you will see it in the end build that it is all kind of lit up but obviously as I said didn't include all of it as it was a very long piece of footage So this is the final build so as we go down to the right we can obviously see Stitch's house and in front of that is obviously the bench which we will go through in a minute but on the right we just have this little tree hammock which I absolutely love and just some little signs and beach grass everywhere and yeah in front of Stitch's we've got a barbecue we've got a table with all the things he loves to eat we've obviously got coconut cake and coffee that he asked for constantly as well as a little seating area and his little cart with some items in as well it's just a very natural area for him 
We then have this little bench area where you can obviously look out at the water. As you can see, I have decorated all the water, as I said before, so you will see it going throughout the biome. We then head around to this kind of sunbathing area on the front of the water where you can obviously hang out and sunbathe during the day with just some surfboards and a lifeguard tower for people to use. We then have this little picnic area with the ice cream stand and as you can see I've put some ice cream on the table now and people would obviously sit here during summer days and enjoy a picnic. As we head over the bridge we obviously have these little tables with some ice creams on for people to enjoy and behind that we obviously have our beachside bar which I filled up with different snacks and sweet treats just to kind of mimic what people would have on a summer's day if they were hanging out at this bar but I love how this bar looks I'm glad I decided to put it back into the build. Next to it we have obviously another ice cream stand with a table full of ice cream and drinks for people to sit here and enjoy and the tropical wood flooring worked really well as a decking. Round to the right we obviously have our well and in front of that we have our kind of little dock area with goofy stool, lots of crates and barrels and Eric's ship at the end of the dock kind of sat there docked up ready for people to come off the boat and visit. Next to that ship I did include two smaller boats, there was one craftable DLC one and one from a previous star path that I did use just to kind of mimic people also docking up here and make it seem like people have come and visit. If we cross over the water we can obviously see this middle section next to Skull Rock where I have arranged all my pillars. I did do this previously in a pillar video where I showed kind of different ways to do it and I actually never moved it because I loved how it looked on the beach and so I just decorated around it made it a little bit more in depth and behind that I obviously put in Maui's house in the water so he can kind of watch over everything and hopefully at some point soon we will be able to access Skull Rock with these pillars. As we head back over, we're obviously coming around towards Moana's boat, which I've just decorated around with a bunch of flowers and some barrels, just to make it seem like she's actually docked up here. And I've left obviously all the fish on here just because it looks really cute to have everything still on there. To the right of that we have the premium shop beach house which I absolutely love, I think this is such a cute house and I've just done some of the tropical wood as a pathway and then a little decking area which has got the stone jacuzzi on it which is craftable and behind that we have just one of these little encanto tables because I just think this fits the beach very very well and it's just got a bunch of food on there, some seafood and some different meals for people to enjoy in the evenings when they hang out here. As we come through I've obviously used some of the neon trees to kind of highlight everything and then we have Moana's section, I absolutely love how Moana's section came out, I think it's my favourite part of the biome and we've just got this little walkway which you come down with lots of candles, on the right we have a banquet table as well as a companion house which I have actually put Pua in, so Pua will be running around by Moana's house, I love this new companion house because it fits so much better with Moana's house, I used to have Pua in one of the original companion houses and it always looked so odd. On the left we have one of the little campfires and then we have these chairs which I actually did in Touch of Magic. They are the Bell Starlet Bundle chairs but I actually decorated them with kind of a wicker look and then I used a motif of taffiti to put on the top just because it looked really sweet in this area and matched the green. We then have the pool from the Scrooge shop as well as some little sun lounges that people could hang out on and behind that we just have the little beach chair with a little campfire there for people to enjoy. As we come out of there we obviously have our second little beach area which I would imagine is kind of a space to do yoga or something like that. I feel like Moana would hang out here and do yoga with someone, it just seems like something she'd do. And then we just have some light up objects over here like the giant clam and then we have the little rock pathway leading to Ariel's house here in the corner. I, I like having her house here because it gives her her own little area without it being too out of place. So I just kind of put some rock pathway to make it look like that's your way in and then on the right we just have this really tiny spot with a crafting table just so we've got one in the biome that can always be accessed and obviously I use the aerial one because it just fits the area perfectly. 
finally as we head back around we obviously just have our exit out to the meadow which i just put a little bench and a little sign and lots of lanterns and this is the final build as you can see i took a bunch of shots it's quite a big biome so i had to try and take as many shots as i could to try and get everything in but I am really loving how this turned out. I love that it's a more natural biome now. Whereas it used to be so built up. There used to be pathways everywhere. And I loved it because it had this cute little boardwalk and everything. But it just looked way too structured for the look I was going for. I wanted this to be a natural beach where people would actually hang out. And kind of hadn't been built up too much. It just had little pockets of people's homes. But people tried to keep it kind of this natural looked after beach that was the aim so that is the final build let me know down below what you guys think and that is the last biome in the biome build so my valley is now completely done so there should be a valley tour coming if you do want to see a valley tour please do let me know down below so i know you're interested make sure you like and subscribe on the video and have a lovely week i will see you in the next one bye